Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. So let's start the new month with new hopes and new aspirations. This is the 1st October video. Now one very important announcement for those students who are poor or not financially very sound. Only for today and tomorrow that is 1st of October and Gandhi Jayanti 2nd of October. If you purchase my current affair course or increase the validity for at least one year, then you will get my all the other three courses free. That is my static GK course, my banking awareness static course and computer awareness. These three courses you will get free of cost only if you buy my current affairs today and tomorrow. This offer is till 2nd of October night midnight. Right. So on that note, I'll start the video. India aging report has been published by UNFPA. UNFPA is called United Nations Population Fund in collaboration with which of the following institutions. So the answer is International Institute for Population Sciences. The answer is option B. International Institute for Population Sciences is located in Mumbai. And UNFPA, United Nations Population Fund is a very important organization and it is headquartered in New York. The same place where we have the headquarter of many other organization like UNICEF and United Nations, etc. And even UNDP. So what does this India aging report says? So right now we are a young country, right? We take a lot of pride in that, but we will become old by 2050. So this report says that India's elderly population is growing at a very fast rate, right? And by 2050, 20% of India's population will be elderly. What is the meaning of elderly? More than 60 years of age more than 60 years of age is called elderly. So by 2050, 20% of India's population will be elderly. And uh, this report also said that the life expectancy in India is higher among women compared to men. And there are some states where life expectancy is uh, very high. Uh, for example, Himachal, for example, Kerala, right? So to give you one example, in this report, it was said that if you are a woman who is, let's say, 60 years old already in Himachal and Kerala, then life expectancy is 23 and 22 years. This is Himachal, this is Kerala, which means that in Himachal, you are expected to live till 83 and in Kerala, you are expected to live till 82. Right. So this type of data was uh, uh, said in the report. We'll not go into too much detail in the report. It's not important, but you should know. Also, you should know what is the study of old people known as old age, old people. It is called gerontology. It is called gerontology. Understood? Let's move on. You can see here that and this, this uh, shows which state will have the most senior citizens in India by 2036 which state in India will have most senior citizens so this is basically the percentage as a population percentage of population that will be more than 60 years old and you can see Tamil Nadu 20.8 Kerala 22.8 so Kerala as a percentage of population will have the highest number of old people 20th edition of the Times Higher Education World University Rankings have been released. So according to this, how many Indian universities are there in top? So Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore is number one in India, but it falls in the 201 to 250 global bracket. So there are bands. So this Indian Institute of Science, yes, it is number one in India, but globally, it is in top 250 all right but it is in between 201 to 250 and this also um, happened since 2017 for the first time in the last six years only one in an institute has come in the top 250 for the first time and uh, in this 91 indian institutes have secured a position 91 indian institutes are among top institutes in the world they are in, for example, top 1000, etc. But in top 250, there is only one. Then 
in india in the 501 to 600 there are many colleges like anna university jamia millia islamia mahatma gandhi university shulini university of biotechnology they are all among 501 to 600 bracket and total 91 indian um, universities are among the top universities whether they are in any bracket doesn't matter and here you can see so actually it is in top 1500 91 indian universities are in top 1500 but only one in top 250 that is iisc bangalore and here you can see uh, some of the names of the university which are in 800 to 1000 bracket 1000 to 1500 bracket etc etc oxford university is number one in the world stanford university stanford is in america oxford university is in britain so oxford university is number one in the world stanford university is uh, number two MIT again in America, Massachusetts, Boston is number three, Harvard number four, Cambridge is number five. Cambridge University is in Britain, right? Princeton again, Princeton is in America, California again America, Imperial College London is in Britain, California Berkeley University and Yale, Yale again is in America. So in the top 10, seven are from America and three are from Britain and number one is from Britain. Recently, to empower the senior citizens and persons with disabilities, which ministry organized Samajik Adhikarita Shivir? What is Samajik Adhikarita Shivir? Social Empowerment Camps. Samajik means social, Adhikarita means empowerment, Shivir means camp. So there, they distribute the aids, like the hearing aid, the walking aid, the crutch, etc. to the old people as a part of which scheme as a part of rashtriya vayoshri yojana so the scheme is called rashtriya vayoshri yojana it is run by the ministry of social justice and empowerment and in this the camps are organized in this scheme rashtriya vayoshri yojana the camps are organized to distribute different kinds of aid and assistive devices to the old people and senior citizens and the disabled people this scheme was started rashtriya vayoshri yojana in 2017 by the ministry of social justice and empowerment is that understood which of the following indian film has been nominated for the 96th academy award it is our official entry to the oscars it is 2018 everybody is a hero this is a malayali film and it is about the devastating floods in kerala that came in 2018 so it is a malayali survival drama right this film and here you can see that this film is written and directed by Jude Anthony Joseph. Remember the name of the director always. Jude Anthony Joseph. He is the writer and director of the film. So this will be the official entry of India to the Oscar. Last year, India won two Oscar awards. One is the best original song that was Natu Natu from RRR and The Elephant Whisperers, which got the best short documentary award. Recently, which of the following state has banned the planting of Conocarpus trees. This is Gujarat. Conocarpus tree, why they have banned the cultivation or plantation of these trees? Because they are a non indigenous species. And a lot of times, when there is a tree that does not belong to India, a lot of times it can have very harmful effect on the indigenous trees or the local trees. In fact, earlier this year, even Telangana banned uh, this plant called Conocarpus. It is a very fast growing plant, it is a mangrove plant. So it mainly grows in the coastal areas and uh, but the problem is that there are a lot of pollen of these plants and these pollens can cause allergy, health issues, cough, cold, asthma and so and also they have very deep roots and because of the deep roots the drainage system of India can get clogged. That is another reason uh, why canocarpus, conocarpus trees are banned in Gujarat earlier in Telangana, now in Gujarat. Recently, the first Urban Shift Forum of Asia was held in New Delhi. It is led by which organization? It is led by United Nations Environment Program, which publishes many reports like the Adaptation Gap Report. It also publishes a report known as Emission Gap Report, Adaptation Gap, Emission Gap, etc. etc. So, the first Urban Shift Forum was held in New Delhi. It was led by United Nations Environment Program. And let me tell you, Urban Shift Forum is a forum 
which is funded by global environment facility global environment facility and urban shift forum it is led by united nation environment program and implemented in partnership with other organizations also like undp asian development bank world bank etc so other organizations also help and global environment facility was established on the occasion of 1992 rio earth summit rio earth summit india is also a member of global environment facility it funds lot of environmental projects it is based in washington dc fssai has introduced a special category in the online food safety compliance system that is foscos portal they have started to promote what so foscos portal will promote gender equality gender equality it will give equal opportunities to women now so what is this foscos portal so let's say you want to apply for any license with food safety and sanitary authority of india which works under the ministry of health if you want to apply for any license or you want to authenticate anything right so if you want to do that then you can apply for a license on this portal but now what they will do is if one license they are approving for men then one license they will approve for women so the ratio will be 1 is to 1 women owned businesses will be given preference women owned businesses will be given equal treatment with the men owned businesses this is what will happen and this system foscos portal was introduced in 2020 by fssai is that understood fssai works under ministry of health and family welfare and have you heard this organization somewhere else also fssai you must have heard because fssai you know they give food safety index also food safety index so who topped the food safety index food safety index was topped by kerala among the large states goa among the small states and jammu kashmir among the union territory this was the fifth food safety index that has been released i think in july or june this year and there is an animal called mithun which is found in nagaland arunachal mainly in the northeast it has been given a food animal status to promote the meat last year yak was given the food animal status by fssai and fssai um, they have launched their national training center recently where has the national training center of fssai opened it has been opened in ghaziabad in up so this is the portal food safety compliance system portal in short cost cost portal you can apply for a new license you can renew your license you can modify etc your license you can also um, register your grievance which of the following it company has signed eight mous with department of ministry of education and ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship to scale digital skill training in india digital skill training in india will be given by ibm international business machine corporation which is an american company one of the most innovative companies in the world so ibm they have a platform known as skills build platform and this question can also be asked skills build platform is by which company the answer is ibm so they will give training on emerging technologies like artificial intelligence cyber security cloud computing generative ai you know all of these so ibm has collaborated with ministry of education and ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and IBM also owns another platform called Watson platform. Watson platform. The compressed biogas plants and biogas plants, they are registered on the Govardhan portal. They are eligible to get financial assistance under which of the following scheme of the Department of Fertilizer under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer. Now, if you remember Ministry of Chemical Fertilizer, they have they had announced a scheme some three months back called Market Development Assistance Scheme or MDA. What is market development assistance? If you are a private person and you install a biogas plant, then you will get money right from the government. The money will be 1500 rupees per metric ton. This is the financial support that you will be getting. 1500 rupees per metric ton will be given if you are, uh, you know, if you are adopting fermented organic manure, liquid fermented organic manure, phosphate rich organic manure, basically organic fertilizers. And total how much money the government will spend 1451.82 crore for next three years 
this much money will be spent till 31st March 2026 to give a support of 1500 rupees per metric ton by the Ministry of Jal Shakti because Gobardhan scheme is by the Ministry of Jal Shakti and as of September how many biogas plants are there which are registered on the Gobardhan portal 1163 biogas plants are there and 426 compressed biogas plants are there which are registered so far on the portal so Gobardhan scheme is run by the Ministry of Jal Shakti and what was the announcement that was made by the Ministry of Jal Shakti uh, in the budget in the budget of 2023 it was announced that they will set up 500 new waste to wealth plants now these plants will also be put under the Gobardhan scheme only which is run by the Ministry of Jal Shakti out of the 500 waste to wealth plant 200 will be compressed biogas plants and 300 will be community or cluster based plants community or cluster based plants and let me tell you out of the 200 compressed biogas plant 75 plants will be in the urban areas 75 plants will be in the urban areas out of 200 so 200 will be compressed biogas plant and 300 will be community or cluster based plant this was announced in the budget and this is the portal Gobardhan portal unified portal which of the following Indian Defense Force has participated in the counter terrorism field training exercise FTX of the ADMM plus expert working group what is ADMM plus first of all you must understand what is ADMM plus in ADMM plus ADMM plus is what ASEAN Defense Ministers Meeting ADMM so 10 ASEAN countries are there in ADMM plus plus means what plus there are eight countries which are called dialogue partners so these are countries are what we call ADMM plus they participate 10 ASEAN countries and eight dialogue partners which are these eight dialogue partner India is among these eight dialogue partner India Russia US New Zealand Japan Korea South Korea even China and Australia so th this is for maritime connectivity and security ADMM plus right so recently this ADMM plus group conducted the counter terrorism field training exercise from India Indian Army participated the answer is option B where did this exercise take place ADMM plus field training exercise FTX it took place in Primorsky region of Russia even if you remember just Russia that is good enough it took place in Russia from 25th of September to 30th of September the main objective of this exercise is strengthening and promoting regional cooperation in the field of counter-terrorism is that understood so that is ADMM plus for you and the first ADMM plus meeting happened in 2010 all the way back in 2010 which of the following agency of United Nation has launched an innovative e-learning program on sustainable finance it has been launched by UNDP that is based in New York United Nation Development Program so basically United Nation Development Program they have an organization under them which is called sustainable finance hub sustainable finance hub so sustainable finance hub is an initiative of UNDP so this e-learning program on sustainable finance has been launched by sustainable finance hub which is an initiative of UNDP so essentially sustainable development goal number one says no poverty and you cannot get rid of poverty unless you have financial knowledge so sustainable finance hub has launched an academy called sustainable development goals finance academy and this academy gives knowledge about finance is that understood so this e-learning program will be implemented by sustainable development goals finance academy which is a part of sustainable finance hub which is a part of UNDP so UNDP launched sustainable finance hub sustainable finance hub launched an academy called SDG finance academy and SDG finance academy will implement e-learning program on sustainable finance the electoral commission of which country has signed a MOU with the election commission of India for cooperation to enhance electoral management and administration the answer is Seychelles so the election commission of India and the electoral commission of Seychelles will work together 
for electoral management and administration. So Rajiv Kumar is the chief election commissioner of India and Seychelles was in news why? Seychelles will give Assumption Island to India. This is a military base and Seychelles is a country in the Indian Ocean. Seychelles also hosted the combined maritime forces exercise called Southern Readiness. INS Sunena participated from India. Which of the following organization has introduced its Android Earthquake Alert System in India in collaboration with National Disaster Management Authority and National Center for Seismology which is in Delhi and the Ministry of Earth Sciences which is running the Samudrayan mission, Ministry of Earth Sciences. The answer is Google of course. Android is owned by Google only. So Android operating system, Google is the answer. Google has introduced Android Earthquake Alert System. It will give earthquake alerts, right? Let's move on. This is how it will work. This is the earthquake system. So for example, expect shaking estimated magnitude 3.1 earthquake is 16 miles away like that. It will also tell you what to do like drop, cover, hold during an earthquake. It will give you the best practices. It will share tips with you. Which of the following country has launched their first domestically built submarine called Haikun? Haikun is a submarine by Taiwan. The answer is Taiwan. So Taiwan has launched their first ever submarine which is called Hai Kun. That reminds me that uh, even North Korea has launched their nuclear capable submarine. What is the name? Hiro Kim Kun Ok. Hiro Kim Kun Ok. Which country has launched their remote sensing satellite called Yaogan 3304? Yaogan is a series of remote sensing satellite. Remote sensing means taking the photographs from space. So it will live very near to the low earth orbit. It will take the photographs remote sensing satellite. It was launched from Jiu Kuan Satellite Launch Center and rocket that was used is called Long March 4C carrier rocket. The answer is China. The answer is China. It will gather data about earth surface and earth's atmosphere using sensors to detect and measure various characteristics like temperature, vegetation and pollution. Scientists have discovered new pangolin species called Manis Mysteria. Now there are a total of how many varieties of pangolins? So the answer is 9. There are 9 types of pangolin now. And this uh, pangolin species Manis Mysteria was recently seen in Hong Kong. Basically, pangolin is a mammal and it is the most trafficked mammal in the world because there is a superstition that the, if you eat these scales, it can cure cancer. So hunters and poachers, they kill the um, pangolin. It is the most trafficked mammal in the world. It is also known as scaly ant eaters scaly ant eater because it mainly eats ants and termites. It is found in Africa and Asia. MS Swaminathan passed away. He is known as the father of which Indian revolution? The answer is Green Revolution. Father of Indian Green Revolution, he passed at the age of 98. And even his daughter, Swamya Swaminathan, she is the chief scientist in WHO. Very talented. And who is called the father of Green Revolution in the world? Norman Borlaug. But in India, it is MS Swaminathan. So M.S. Swaminathan was a genius. He was born in Kumbakonam. He was born in Kumbakonam in Tamil Nadu. And he was the Director General of Indian Council of Agriculture Research. He also became the Director General of International Rice Research Institute, which is headquartered in Los Banos in Philippines. International Rice Research Institute, he was the Director General of that. And he was the first Indian to win in fact, he was the winner of the first World Food Prize. First World Food Prize. He was the first winner of it. Right? So, he was also uh, elected to the Rajya Sabha. He served in the Rajya Sabha from 2007 to 2013. And he did a lot of... Uh, he did a lot of work in... Um, you know, bringing to the four the high yielding varieties of crops high yielding varieties of rice and wheat like kalyan sona wheat like for example ir8 rice variety which um which was very essential for india at that time because we were short of food 
in kerala he gave a package called kuttanad package kuttanad is a place in kerala so kuttanad package was given uh, in um, kerala by him which modernized infrastructure agriculture infrastructure and uh, encouraged short duration rice varieties so all of these things can be asked right he had immense contribution he led india out of the hunger trap one of the greatest indians ever ms swaminathan which of the following state government has asked the prime minister of india for the recognition of the sarna religion it is a sarna religious code you can call it sarna religion which is followed by the tribal community in jharkhand so basically sarna is a religion which is followed by the tribal people they worship nature they worship trees they worship hills they they don't worship any deities they worship nature in the sarna religion and jharkhand assembly passed the resolution in 2021 two years back for sarna code now they want prime minister of india to recognize this and they basically the sarna religion is based on jal jungle and zameen jal is water jungle is forest and zameen is land jal jungle zameen it is sarna religion is practiced by majority of the tribal people in jharkhand and majority of the tribal people in jharkhand they also celebrate a festival called sarhul festival sarhul is the most important festival of jharkhand it is a new year festival as a part of the sarna religion only sarhul is celebrated as a part of sarna religion only so that was the first video of the month first of october very happy for a fresh beginning i'll see you in the gandhi jayanti video and i must remind you that just today and tomorrow just for first october and gandhi jayanti if you are a poor person student or if financially compromised at the moment then if you purchase my daily current affair or if you extend your validity for one year i will give you three courses free static gk banking awareness static and computer awareness our team will call you on third because till second everything is off it's a extended weekend so our team will call you on third of october and they will unlock the three courses for you you have to use the code ggca on checkout